and we're live guys welcome to yet another episode of good morning crypto only here only on ivan on take of course as always we are broadcasting live straight from stockholm sweden and we do this show at each and every day at 8 a.m central european summertime and today we have a lot of news guys and the most significant news of the day is the ethereum hack that happened um, in, uh, yesterday not hack but the bug that the bug that uh, happened yesterday and was discovered yesterday and discussed yesterday as well and so we're going to talk about that what is this parity bug that is recent and uh, how it could have resulted in a chain split i think it's very important to understand the reasons and really what was going on so that is number one and then we're going to talk about the fact that you have uh, russians creating their own cryptocurrency a small town in russia basically going out and saying you know what we're just creating our own cryptocurrency because we don't like the banks and we don't like the regulators we don't like the government so that is that that is quite interesting as well so guys if you are excited if you're excited to learn if you are excited about this be absolutely sure to smash the likes here on youtube give me all the hearts on facebook and we will get straight into it and also if there is any issues with the sound or with the video i think it's is it lagging is it lagging guys for some reason i think it might be lagging uh let me see let me see uh i don't know yeah it seems to work seems to work uh that being said, let's take a look at what we're actually talking about. And today we will be talking about this parity bug that happened yesterday. And it is already fixed, that is important to mention. And it is important to say that uh, nothing has happened when it comes to actually, you know, this bug coming to fruition and this bug really making some kind of uh, chaotic uh, scenario or really affecting the network, but it could have, it could have. And uh, this is kind of the reality we are in. And um, uh, although nothing happened and although this bug is under control, we still need to realize how close it could have been to an actual chain split and um, what, is, what are the reasons reasons really. So you have this article from Cointelegraph basically coming out and saying that Piracy urges users to install update after discovering testnet vulnerability. And uh, basically continuing, users of Ethereum software issued by Parity Technologies have enforced updates this week after warnings a testnet vulnerability could spread to Ethereum network, according to Parity's blog post. And so Parity is a UK-based provider of infrastructure, uh, and uh, you might have heard about the Parity bug uh, uh, earlier, uh, earlier when we had this um, library being nuked out of the ex existence, and a lot of Parity wallets could not access their uh, funds, and basically it's still unclear how we're going to resolve that issue and how the funds will be returned back to the uh, to the users but now we had another instance of uh, of a parity issue and so to really understand what happened we need to understand we need to understand what a protocol is number one and why a protocol has uh, several implementations yeah guys i see it is lagging i see it is lagging i'm not sure exactly why and i'm not sure exactly what we can do now let's see let's try to uh let's see let's see if we try to do like this uh yeah yeah it, th this is live television guys this is what happens when you do live <laughs> unfortunately i i'm not sure what i can do now that we're that we are rolling but uh, let's hope it uh, plays out and i will check uh, i will check later but first of all we have to understand what a protocol is and therefore, we're going back to our drawing board and uh, we will discuss, first of all, what is a protocol. Because when you talk about, um, when you talk about, for example, Ethereum, you talk about Bitcoin, they're all, all protocols. They're all decentralized protocols for communicating between computers. And uh, therefore, it's important to realize that a protocol is simply a set of rules. A protocol is simply a set of rules that computers use in order to communicate with uh, each other. And therefore, uh, whenever you have a set of rules, it is up to the programmers to then implement those rules. It's up to the programmers to then take those rules and uh, uh, make implementations. So this is where we have the distinction between a protocol and then impli 
Impli implementation however that is spelled anyway you have protocol and then you have implementation basically taking this protocol taking this set of rules and creating a program that follows this set of rules so whenever you hear people talking about implementation think about that you know you take the set of rules that is the for example ethereum protocol and you make a software out of it you make a software out of it and in Ethereum, you have several implementations of the Ethereum protocol, all right? Uh, you have several implementations of the Ethereum protocol. Uh, so one implementation is called the Geth. And Geth is um, uh, the kind of official implementation by the Ethereum foundation. And so what Geth does basically is that they follow the rules. They, this is a, a program that basically follows the rules defined in this Ethereum protocol, okay? And then you have other implementations as well. So, for example, you have Parity, which is another implementation of the Ethereum protocol. So you have the Parity implementation as well. And Parity also tries to do the same. They are trying to follow the rules defined in the Ethereum protocol. So protocol, a set of rules, and then you have several implementations. So what you normally have is that you have a network the Ethereum network, for example, and different nodes will be running different implementations. So you might have some people running the Geth implementation here, and uh, they are communicating with other people running the Parity implementation. So here you have other nodes running the Parity implementation, and it all works fine. It all works fine because they are exactly the same. They are communicating in exactly the same ways and they are talking to each other exactly the same because they are following the same protocol. They are uh, implementing the same set of rules and the same, uh, and the same way of communicating with each other. So this is the situation we have. Now, what happened yesterday and what was discovered yesterday, this vulnerability we discussed and we mentioned is that Parity did not follow the protocol rules as uh, as all other nodes did. So you have this uh, protocol, and Parity had uh, had some uh, mistakes in their implementation. So here you had mistakes, and so what happened is that nodes mistakes. So what happened is that nodes that run parity no longer communicated in the same way as nodes that did not run parity. And so this is quite important to realize when you have two different implementations of the protocol and they are not talking in the same fashion, they're not communicating with each other in the same fashion, they are not implementing the protocol exactly the same, what you have is that you basically have a hard fork. So this is uh, why it is quite important to realize exactly what happened, because this is also the nature of um, cryptocurrencies and decentralized protocols, decentralized implementations, that whenever you have several implementations, it is good because in a way it is decentralized. You have more people implementing the protocol. You have more people talking about the... Uh, the different ways we can improve the protocol and basically you don't you do not have one organization pushing their version of the protocol you have several different versions of the protocol and therefore you're not uh, bound you're not bound to one uh, entity doing the protocol because you have several entities doing the protocol so this is why it is good to have several implementations. But there's also a risk. And the risk is that it might be the case that someone makes a mistake in their implementation. Someone makes some kind of, um, uh, you know, bug in their implementation. And then if you have a lot of people using both versions of truth, if you have a lot of people using both um, implementations of the protocol, well, then you have a hard fork. And so... If you look at their issue report, they basically stated that examining the issues with our nodes on uh, Rupstian, we have found that there is a potential consensus-related issue between Parity Ethereum and all other Parity clients. So you realize that, you know, Parity Ethereum is this implementation, and then all other clients is this one, and then you have other, you know, implementations as well. So Geth is one example, but then you have a lot of others. And so when they follow different rules, when they do not follow exactly the same uh, set of protocol rules because a mistake was made and a mistake was 
created, you then have this issue with uh, uh, with uh, a hard fork that could have happened. And so this is also what they say here that submitting a certain mall form transaction to a mining parity Ethereum node could have caused that node to produce a mall form block, which would still be treated as valid by other affected Ethereum nodes. So you see that parity Ethereum nodes would tr would treat one block as uh, valid and other Ethereum nodes would say this is not valid. And so therefore, therefore you have this, uh, uh, this uh, issue with... Uh, uh, with hard fork that could have happened. So guys, this is number one, and this is really the number one issue I wanted to discuss with you. And uh, also, if you are interested, you can definitely go to store.toshitimes.com and use promo code VITALIK to get 20% off on Ethereum merch if you are a proud Ethereum hodler and a proud Ethereum advocate. So next up, what we have is that we have this news about Russia. Basically, that Russian farmers had gone and created their own cryptocurrency. They were like, you know what? We're not, <laughs> we're, we're not following the uh, the rules. We're not following the regulators. We're not following the uh, kind of the current banking system in Russia. We're going to go out and um, and uh, uh, and create our own cryptocurrency. And so this is exactly what happened in a Russian village or a Russian town, how you might say it. So basically, we have this news from Toshi Times, uh, reporting that a Russian town called Ko Ko Kolinovo uh, has had enough problems with the Russian ruble, that they have started adopting their own crypto token called Koleon. So this is quite interesting. Uh, and it all began with a farmer by the name of Mikhail, who used to be a banker <laughs> and uh, wanted to take an, a loan for his farm. So you have a farmer who wanted to take a, a loan for his farm, but the interest rate was too high. The interest rate was 12%. And therefore, <laughs> therefore, he wanted to create his own fiat currency. So this started a few years back when uh, this person wanted to create his own fiat currency and wanted to use this fiat currency within his local community. And, <coughs> and so with paper, he started to print colons. Uh, and these paper currencies were banned in 2015. So it really started three years ago, in 2015, when this person created, uh, tried to create his own fiat currency by using paper. And um, now, now, it turned out that in April 2017, so almost, you know, over a year ago, uh, they raised half a million dollars and created their own cryptocurrency and via an ICO. So this is quite interesting that people are taking this issue, this matter in their own hands and basically creating their own cryptocurrency uh, instead of using the fiat currency of the, of the country. And basically he, he's saying, I didn't want to suffocate and be a slave of the banks, so I had to invent my own money. And I did it. I am now my own bank, government and regulator. So I thought this was also a funny, uh, a funny news to share. But guys, it seems that the stream is lagging. It seems that the stream is lagging. And although we had some uh, issues, uh, I think we're going to end it here. And I, I will investigate what exactly has happened and why we have um, a bad connection today. So let's just say uh, this is it for today. I hope you still enjoyed. I, I hope you still learned something, although we had connection issues, although there are, uh, there are some, uh, you know, some uh, internet speed. Uh, yeah, it's quite annoying when you have, when you have these dependencies you need to rely on. But anyway, guys, anyway, guys, it was still a, my pleasure to hang out with you this morning. And I hope you still learn something and uh, let's let's see what the issue is and do the stream tomorrow because we will be back tomorrow. So guys, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Smash the likes and I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully without lag. Have a great day and goodbye guys. Goodbye, goodbye.